now it's my honor to invite mr jeevanandan praiswami founder ceo climate smart technologies farber world bank consultant and ex un fao consultant and staff kaimathur to address the participants uh, very good morning to professor surapa honorable vice chancellor of anna university uh, professor anil sahasrabuddhe honorable chairman of aict uh, Dr. Sendhil Kumar, Dean, Anna University. Dr. Raja Samuel, Principal, Middle School of Social Work. Dr. Lakshmi Jagannathan, Chief Operating Officer of Derby Foundation. Dr. Purachi Kodi, HOD of Pharmaceutical Technology. Dr. Anna Purni, HOD of IT and CSE departments. Distinguished dignitaries, professors, staff, and the participants of the hackathon. Um, I was a UN Emergency Officer. Uh, was placed in FAO in Rome to work with avian influenza between 2007 and 2009. We were dealing with a number of pandemic scenarios across the world, including China, including the Wuhan University uh, Institute of uh, Virology, which was supported for collecting blood samples from the bird flu. And we were given a lot of pandemic preparedness training uh, for many hotspots worldwide. we used epcr and cpe kits that are now new buzzwords for everybody at the most we imagined a perimeter of 3 to 5 kilometers and worst case scenarios were basically maybe a country uh, maybe few countries together but never in our wildest dreams we we imagined the entire humanity will be locked up and covid has done that and it has not only done that but it has brought something very different that we all were kind of hesitant to take up digital technologies again you know for a low old generation uh, like many of us we are a bit hesitant to adopt digital technologies but imagine now without digital technologies being locked up no tv no smartphones no uh, apps no websites nothing how would have this entire pandemic could have been so this covid 19 has instilled the sense of wealth health is wealth and also very importantly that we should all stay inside to stay alive what has this done is basically it has brought a lot of multiple disciplines to work together which is very difficult in a normal business as usual scenario in any country any department any uh, institution it was always a nightmare however this pandemic has made that possible medical professionals community organizers it professionals all have to work together to find solution so this major covid lockdown i see as the start of the industry for revolution which industry revolution pretty much happened almost pre first world war now 100 years after that industry for digital revolution is happening through covid 19 and we all anticipated in in world bank or un or adb which i worked and i still work with some of them that it will take about 10 years to 20 years to get the digital technologies you know uh, adapted in all countries this covid 19 has done that in 3 months with nobody asking or forcing it down them so today all non it ict disciplines which were in the periphery of the technology are now coming together to work together with ict technologies so coming back to my expectations from this event is very very simple in this 10 11 days if we can develop 3 to 5 immediately usable app or web applications in this open book contest we have asked the participants that they can <coughs> help from anybody to complete this task and build an app which can complement the widely used arogya setu for other government departments who can issue passes or who can help in uh, identifying labor or skills how do we impart skills or how do we go about uh, education all this what we do today being a dominant force in it can be useful for many other countries across the world so what i see this is a 
a great opportunity for Indian ICT professionals, particularly faculties and students, to take up this opportunity to learn new technologies and help in building a community health information systems that encompasses disaster risk management. Uh, just yesterday, my team, which was originally working on disaster risk management, uh, we had done a few apps for Odisha, Tamil Nadu, Kerala during the floods and cyclones. Then we expanded to Indonesia and uh, Mozambique, these countries I had worked in the past. I asked my team of three students to complete a DRM framework for all the countries in the world. Yesterday evening, they finished it for every single country in the world. So what I'm saying is that with limited resources, particularly with ICT, you can achieve a lot. And from an entrepreneur's perspective, and having worked globally with many governments in disaster risk management, climate change, agribusiness, COVID-19 has now ex upped the expectations for each and every computer science, information technology students. And in addition, every department or every discipline must know something about digital technologies. So they are also supposed to learn all these technologies. So now there is a word called full stacker who knows to do the, all the elements of an app or a web. But in five years time, the ultimate stacker a person who can develop a web, uh, a person who can develop an app, a person who can connect it to IOTs will be the minimum basic requirement in digital technologies. And above that, they will have to build a lot of artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning for operating robots, drones, and other technologies. So for me, this COVID-19 hackathon is a starting point. As Professor Sahasra Budde said, Smart India Hackathon, this bioinformatics hackathon is the way to go forward. And hopefully, we will come up with good results in 10 days' time that we can all find it useful. And I thank for the 768 participants who got registered and got selected, and most of them got selected. And we were looking forward to work with you all alongside during 10, 11 days to make this event a success. Not only that, the success of this event relies on the usable products that this particular event will bring out. All the very best to you all. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.